Steam sales are goaded and happen during most major holiday celebrations so that developers can capitalize on the holiday. Which is great for us gamers because then we get to sink our teeth into new content for cheap. What's up guys, Poet here. Between my last upload and now, I bought a couple games during the Steam Winter Sale that I don't think people talk about enough. Most of these games cost me a median of $15 and all of them have plenty of hours worth of gameplay for that price point. They also just make great games to play to relax on in my opinion. So without further ado, let's hop into it. I definitely just I'm... stuck you with a grenade and blew you up. <laughs> First one on the list is a game called Deep Rock Galactic. I'd be lying if I told you guys this was my first time playing this game. I had it on Game Pass about a year ago, but I decided to actually buy the game so I wouldn't have to pay monthly for it through the, the Game Pass service. This game is an absolute treat between its mechanics, art style, game loop, and just stupid fun stuff that you can do on the missions. It's essentially just a mining simulator with guns and giant bugs, and it's a nice game to just play when you want to break from some of your more intense shooters. You can adjust the difficulty for some higher difficulty and rewards though if you're hoping for a tougher experience. If you play solo, the game will give you a little robot that will help you when you get down and shoot enemies with you, and you can upgrade it as well so it's not as um, AI-ish, if you would, as most other games that have assist allies. The game has four characters to choose from, as well as four player co-op, and I think that really complements this game perfectly. There's not too many places that more than four players can really fit, if that makes sense. And honestly, a game that cost me $9 that I can play with my friends is really the best way to get me into the game. I highly recommend this game, and I think if it ever goes on sale and you're on the fence about it, just really look into it, but it's just an, a safe bet. Oh, also... When you drink beer in this game, it gives you boosts and missions. Very fitting for a game about minor doors with explosives and guns. The second one on this list would be a game I contemplated making a full length video on, Risk of Rain 2. I don't even know where to start here. I thought I wouldn't like this game, but I was horribly wrong. Risk of Rain is kind of like a dungeon crawler with a hero type gameplay element. Editing poet here. The game is classified as an action roguelike. I'm not the brightest ball when it comes to video game categorization, but uh, you know, leave a comment if you think I got close. It is a beautiful game, both just with the way it runs and feels, as well as the art style and the, its very loose story. There's a variety of characters and gear to choose from, as well as enemy types and bosses to fight, so the experience never gets dull. I feel like I can hop into this game at any day, at any time, and play however many rounds and experience something completely different than I experienced the last time and I I love when games do that. Risk of Rain is also a four player co-op game with emphasis on teamwork and communication so that depending on what character everybody chooses you can get the right um, items to make them a little bit more powerful and deal just insane amounts of damage to bosses. The game's difficulty also increases as you go through each stage, which I think is really, really cool because it doesn't stop until it gets to like the, the final stage. And even then you're just going through the hardest difficulty infinitely. And it's only getting harder as you keep going. There's also different game modes you can try along with the difficulty changes and the enemy spawn rate changes. I, it's just, there's a lot of customization when it comes to the difficulty of this game. It's fun. And for the measly price of, I, I think I paid $10.59, $10 it, it gave me back way over $10 of my time. The third game on my list is one I'm sure that you've heard of, and one that is a little bit more expensive than the other two, and that's a game called Ready or Not. This game is everything that I look for in a game, really. Um, it, it, at least when it comes to first-person shooters, this, this game is spot on. Ready or Not is the game Rainbow Six Siege wishes it could have been. Probably what it would have been had it not taken its current route. You play with up to five friends or alone 
with bots in this game as a SWAT team on a variety of missions, of which the developers are actively adding more and keeping up with their game. Starting in Early Access, this game I think might be one of the only shining examples of how Early Access can be utilized to launch a very successful game that's gained what I'd say is worldwide attention. Missions have different modes, different people in different places, and vary in how the enemies react to your actions. You can also try editing your loadout to fit a specific need, such as non-lethal or hyper-lethal. You can bring a riot shield and support your allies, or run a breaching shotgun to blow in doors. You can run gas grenades to incapacitate people. There's M203 launchers that shoot gas grenades or smoke grenades or flashbangs so you can blind people. It's, it's very thorough with your loadout options. The enemies will take hostages, hide under beds, camp corners. They're everywhere and they're all hiding in perfect little spots to try and get you and I think this shows how much this game has to it if you're a tactical adrenaline junkie like me this game is perfect for you I won't lie ready or not is a bit higher of a price like I said on sale it's around $20 uh, with the game base being I think 40 right now I'll probably have a picture of it in the video um, but this game with a good group of your pals and really good communication is just unreal. And I think it might be one of the best games I've ever bought on Steam. Hands up now. Oh, he's got a hostage! Oh, shut up! Good shot. I know the list is short, but I think that's a good thing. I think it shows how much time I'm actually dumping into these three games that they're the only three that I'm talking about. They are well worth beyond what I paid for them, all of them. And if you're on the fence about any of them, I cannot encourage you enough to give them all a try. I have a blast playing them alone or with my buddies, mainly with my buddies because we're all stupid and we just make it infinitely better. And they're all a nice change of pace from some of the other games I've been sucked into. Anyways guys, that's all I've got. If you want to chat or have questions about any of the games I listed, leave a comment. I will probably respond to you and we can banter about it in the comments. If you made it this far, consider liking the video. It goes a long way for me, as well as subscribing. And either way, I'll see you in the next one.